have a question about intellectual property, but um, I just wanted to comment on the war thing, just briefly. It seems to me that when you start talking about war, uh, you've already denounced states' rights, but when you start talking about war, all of a sudden, now you're, you're right in the states' rights thing, and the states' rights defend itself, and you've forgotten about the individual rights. So, so can, I, can I deal with that before you ask your sure, question? Yeah, yeah. No. The Estonia's one, I, what I've denied is states' rights in the context of the U.S. as states and a government. The government doesn't have any rights. Governments don't have rights. But governments have responsibilities. Government has one function and one function only. And that function is to defend the individual rights of its citizens. That's it. Doesn't have any other responsibility. Not to provide health care, and not to not to, to provide for the poor, and not to provide for anything except to protect individual rights. So if somebody comes jumping at me with a with a machine gun, trying to shoot me, it's the government's job to jump in and shoot them before they get to me. And sometimes, when they're shooting the bad guy, some innocent bystanders might get shot and killed. And that's sad, and that's unfortunate. But whose responsibility is that? It's the guy who was wielding the machine gun to begin with and tried to kill me. It's his responsibility. So when I talk about going to war, I'm talking about going to war as my representative to defend my rights when somebody is trying to violate them. Somebody is running at me, you know, with a nuke or a machine gun or a whatever it happens to be, and then it's my government's job to go out and kill them and do whatever is necessary to prevent them from ever coming at me again with a machine gun. And that is, an, that is not an issue of government rights, it's an issue of individual rights, 300 million Americans, individual rights, should have demanded, and didn't demand, but should have demanded that the American government do whatever was necessary to stop Al-Qaeda, and in my view, Islamic totalitarianism, from ever striking America again. And that's the job of, Amer of the American government. Now, then you get into questions. Should we invade in Iraq or in defending my rights? Should we go after Iraq or Afghanistan or Saudi Arabia or Iran? That was a technical, you know, you know, military question. Those aren't questions of rights anymore. Now it's a question of, in protecting my rights, who do we bomb? You know, I have my ideas on who should have been bombed and wasn't, uh, and, and what should have been done and wasn't. But it's not an issue of the state having rights, it's an issue of me having rights as an American. Okay, well, uh, I won't pursue that, but um, I just wanted to ask an intellectual problem. Uh, I, I feel that the intellectual property position here is wrong. Did uh, Ayn Rand say uh, there's absolute uh, intellectual property rights available, or at least? Yes. Um, but how do you respond to that? I mean, that doesn't, to me, that doesn't seem rational, because if you have an idea, you know, you need the state to protect that idea under intellectual property. And the, uh, this guy over here can have the same idea, and I can't prove that he didn't come up with that idea independently. Sure. I can only say it looks a lot like my idea. So it's not, I mean, with intellectual property rights, it's not a question of him just stealing stuff written on a piece of paper. It's a question of him, you know, how, how do you... State absolutely protects your idea. You can have whatever ideas you want. Nobody, nobody is going to take those ideas away from you. What the state is protecting is a physical manifestation of those ideas. That is the actual product. That is the consequence of those ideas. And that is a physical thing. That is, if you have an idea, and, you know... But is this not an exclusive privilege? It's an exclusive privilege to produce, absolutely. The fact that you have an idea doesn't give you an automatic right to make something if making that something violates the intellectual property of somebody else who had the idea before you and, and is producing that thing based on that idea. You can still hold that idea in your head, nobody can go in and zap it away, but you just can't act on it. The action is now the rights of somebody else. Um, it, it is bizarre to me that the most important creation that we're all engaged in, which is ideas, right? that is the most important creation. Every product out there ultimately started as an idea. Everything, everything out there is about ultimately ideas. It, you know, Ayn Rand believed very much that the, ultra, the only power of creation is reason, ideas otherwise. That somehow we don't protect that under property rights. That is the one thing that we truly do create. And if somebody else got to the marketplace before you based on the idea that he had and made stuff, it's his. That patent, 
That idea that he registered is his, and therefore it's the gov role of government to protect that manifestation of that idea in reality. Uh, and I think it's I think it's a, it's a it's a real mistake uh, for libertarians to reject that because if you reject that, I think all property goes because all property ultimately all property ultimately is intellectual.